Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, in this, we'll talking about. Welcome to a groundbreaking revelation that's making headlines across the globe. In an unprecedented move, Canada has unveiled a visionary plan that seeks to welcome a staggering 1.5 million permanent residents by the year 2026. This audacious initiative signifies Canada's resolute commitment to harnessing the transformative power of immigration for a brighter, more inclusive future. Join us as we delve into the details of this ambitious journey and explore the multifaceted facets of this monumental plan. So, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming video. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Canada's Ambitious Immigration Plan, Welcoming 1.5 Million Permanent Residents by 2026 Breaking news has recently revealed Canada's ambitious plan to invite 1.5 million immigrants as permanent residents by the year 2026. This monumental decision is a part of Canada's efforts to harness immigration as a driving force for economic growth and to facilitate family reunification. The plan, outlined by Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada, entails substantial increases in immigration levels over the next few years, and it comes with a series of goals and strategies to diversify and enrich Canada's population. Canada's Path to Growth Canada has long recognized the invaluable role that immigrants play in its market and in fostering its economic development. The new immigration plan is a testament to Canada's forward-thinking approach, ensuring that it possesses the necessary skills to meet key objectives in the ever-evolving global landscape. Beyond economic considerations, the plan also focuses on supporting sustainability initiatives and transitioning towards a greener and more digitally driven economy. Welcoming newcomers is not just about numbers. It also involves providing essential resources and services such as housing and healthcare to ensure that both newcomers and Canadians can thrive together. Effective communication, teamwork, coordination, and partnerships are fundamental to the success of this plan, as it necessitates a whole-of-government and whole-of-society approach to admissions planning. French-speaking permanent residents one significant aspect of Canada's immigration plan is its commitment to increasing the percentage of French-speaking permanent residents outside of Quebec. While the target was initially set at 4.4% in 2022, the new plan aims to achieve 6% in 2024, 7% in 2025, and 8% in 2026. This expansion emphasizes Canada's dedication to linguistic diversity and inclusivity. Immigration Class Breakdown the immigration levels plan for 2024 to 2026 provides a comprehensive breakdown of admissions across various immigration classes. These include 1. Economic. The plan anticipates admitting 281, 135 economic immigrants in 2024, increasing to 301, 250 in both 2025 and 2026. 2. Family. The family class will see 114, 000 admissions in 2024, with a consistent figure of 118, 000 in both 2025 and 2026. 3. Refugee. The refugee class is projected to admit 76, 115 individuals in 2024, decreasing to 72, 750 in both 2025 and 2026. 4. Humanitarian. The humanitarian class aims to welcome 13, 750 individuals in 2024, followed by 8, 000 in both 2025 and 2026. These projections sum up to a total of 485, 000 new permanent residents in 2024, and the number will stabilize at 500, 000 in both 2025 and 2026. The plan also encompasses additional immigration programs, including the Canadian Experience Class. 
Federal Skilled Trades Program, Federal Skilled Worker Program, Self-Employed Persons, and the Startup Visa Program. It incorporates time-limited public policies for the transition of temporary residents to permanent residents by the end of 2023. Provincial and Special Programs Furthermore, the plan covers admissions through various provincial nominee programs and specific initiatives, such as the Home Support Worker Pilots and Home Child Care Provider Programs. Quebec, under the Canada-Quebec Accord, retains complete authority over selecting immigrants destined for Quebec. In line with this, Quebec is expected to admit 37, 990 immigrants in 2024, 34, 500 in 2025, and 35, 500 in 2026. Inclusion and Diversity Canada's commitment to inclusion is evident in its provisions for humanitarian and compassionate admissions as well as programs designed to support human rights defenders in need of protection and key plus individuals. The plan also addresses the admission of Afghan nationals, Uyghurs, and other Turkic Muslims, providing a safe haven for individuals facing persecution. Conclusion Canada's immigration levels plan for 2024 to 2026 is nothing short of visionary, reflecting its commitment to harnessing the power of immigration for economic growth, diversification, and family reunification. By welcoming 1.5 million permanent residents over the next few years, Canada is positioning itself as a global leader in progressive immigration policies. While the plan offers clarity on the roadmap ahead, the execution of this vision will be closely monitored, as it carries implications not only for the newcomers but for all Canadians. For those looking to migrate to Canada in 2024 or beyond, Navigating these changes may seem complex. However, this bold immigration plan is also a testament to Canada's enduring commitment to welcoming newcomers and building a stronger, more diverse nation. As we conclude our exploration of Canada's ambitious immigration plan, it's clear that this remarkable endeavor isn't just about numbers. It's a testament to Canada's enduring values of inclusivity, diversity, and progress. By welcoming 1.5 million new permanent residents, Canada is poised to redefine the global stage in terms of progressive immigration policies. The path ahead is promising, and its execution will undoubtedly shape the destiny of the nation and the lives of countless newcomers. That is all for today, in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.